Today's training is about how to download a JETCOM file from your Ancestry tree. I did a video last year, back in January, and since that time, Ancestry has changed the look of the trees and, and a couple of other things, and so I just wanted to make sure that you were able to find how you can download a JETCOM. A JETCOM is a way that you can share data between genealogy programs. It was created by LDS, the Latter-day Saint Church, and it's really a great way to be able to move information from one place to another. So I'm going to show you how you can download your tree. If you have a great tree in Ancestry and you want to download it and put it into your own genealogy program or share it with someone, let me show you how you do that. So here I am. I'm logged in to Ancestry. And what I'm going to do is go to my trees over here at the top. There's Ancestry, Home, and then Trees. And I'm going to go and click on this FS tree right there. And what that does is just take takes me to a tree that I have downloaded. Once you get to this point, you want to just click on this down arrow. See this arrow FS tree, November 29th. Click on the little down arrow. And then I want to just click on View Tree Settings. So let's go ahead and click there. And then this will bring you to this page. And if I scroll down, this will say Export your family tree data as a JETCOM file to your computer. So, and that's what we want to do. And all you do, so this is going to take all the information that you have in your tree on Ancestry and, and download it to your computer. So we're going to put Export Tree, and then it generates JETCOM file right here if I hover over that. But before I download it, let me show you this little tip right here. Download tips. It says if the download window, the file download window does not appear and Windows automatically downloads a text file, it says you can right click over here on this green button and select save target as. So let me show you. I'm going to do that because I like the way you can tell it where you want to go. Most of the time when I download information, it goes to my download file, and then I have to go there and find it. So this is a really nice tip. I'm going to right click. Whoops. I think it started downloading. But it says right here, I didn't have saved target as, but I've got saved link as. So I'm going to go ahead and save link as. And I like keep my genealogy in Dropbox. So I would click on Dropbox and then click on this genealogy button. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this here. And I can actually rename this. So I'm going to put Carol Ancestry just so I know that I downloaded it from Ancestry. I'm going to put January 2016. And then I'm going to save, and it's going to save it as a .ged, which that's the extension for the JEDCOM file. So let's go ahead and put save. Okay, and hopefully you can see this on the bottom here, um, on the very left. This is actually where the file, where I could actually um, bring up the file if I wanted. But let me show you what happens if I click on that. You can't find a location of how to open it. And the thing is, is you have to first import it into a genealogical program. I'm going to show you how to do that. And let me first just tell you about different genealogy programs. There is Legacy Family Tree, Family Tree Maker, Family Historian, Roots Magic is the one I'm going to show you, Ancestral Crest, and then there's quite a few others. These are the top genealogy programs. But um, the one I'm going to show you is Roots Magic. So let me show you if you do have a genealogy software program, which is the only way you can really open this file, unless there's also a, if you want to do MyHeritage, you can also upload a JETCOM to them as well. But let me just show you how to do that to a genealogy program. So I'm going to open Roots Magic. And this is my husband's um right here. I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a new file because I don't want to combine it with his and I'm going to name it. Um, maybe I'll just put Carol Ancestry 
January 2001 sick, just so I can remember what that file is all about. And then I can check or uncheck things over here. And it says, what do you want to do after creating the file? And it says, begin typing my information. So I'm going to go ahead and put OK there. So it's just creating a new file. And let me close out. Let me just put this on. So what this is is just an empty file. Now what I want to do is I want to go and import. I exported from Ancestry, and now I'm going to go import from Rootspan. I mean, import it from Ancestry into there. So let me show you that. I went over to the file. I'm going to come down here to import. So what I'm going to do is go find that file. And it asks me which Ginny all do program does the file come from. And so you've got several options here. And see how this one says Jedcom? That's what I want to do. I want to import a Jedcom. And I'm going to say I know where the file is because I know where I saved it. And remember, I saved it in Dropbox and in my genealogy folder. And then here it is, the Carol Ancestry. <coughs> I'm just going to click on that and open. And this will bring in... Um, I'm not going to worry about that. I asked you who you received it from. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So there it is. So this is just a small file that I actually downloaded into Ancestry from Family Search. But this here it is. It brought it up and it just put the people in and, and it really works great. So try that out. If you have questions, go back to the beginning and look at that again. But it's, it's really pretty easy to do. And I hope you're having a great day today.